This film is an insult to everything related to the X-Men series. At least it was better than The Last Stand, but that isn't much of an accomplishment. This film's only redeeming factor is Quicksilver and maybe Nightcrawler. All other characters were painfully annoying to look at, listen to, especially Jennifer Lawrence's mystique, which is quite frankly a character getting worse and worse every film. I think actors such as Nicholas Holt must feel appalled at the extent of which he was underused and was given no material to work with. They even found a way for Magneto to be unlikable. Let's get into the main problems with this film. For starters the villain is less intimidating than a declawed kitten. His character is comparable to Shrek in terms of appearance and intelligence. He proved to be little more than a tremendous waste of time, he couldn't even select three worthy apprentices that could help him. The character was too lazy to do any real scouting for the most powerful mutants and instead just picked the first three mutants he ran into. Magneto was the only powerful follower he had and yet he managed to get talked out of destroying the world which he did a fairly awful job of by that pathetic, unlikable and mind-numbingly boring character Mystique. It baffles me that Mystique is allowed to lead the X-Men. Who would want to take orders from that idiot? Although Mystique was an incredibly annoying character, there are many others that do not live up to the brilliant standard set out in the original timeline. Jean Grey for example, played by the apparently talented Sophie Turner obviously not talented enough to give even a slightly convincing American accent, seriously, what was that? Honestly, I'd much rather some random unknown ginger actress play the role than a girl chosen entirely because she appears in a well-known TV show Game of Thrones. If this is the standard of the casting process in the X-Men franchise, I'd honestly grab a wig and go audition myself, because it seems they'll accept any useless pinnock who wants in. Also, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the most forgettable band of villains I think I've ever seen. Storm is such a powerful villain and was entirely wasted during this movie. Psylocke who? That is probably what you were saying after the movie. Finally, the Birdman, what in his right mind was Apocalypse thinking when he decided a great addition to his team would be nothing more than a glorified turkey. Admittedly, the film did have some laugh-out-loud moments, most notably, the death of Magneto's daughter, which had me in stitches. The girl's death can be blamed entirely due to yet again another act of awful parenting with parents who cannot keep an eye on the daughter for even a minute. If Magneto had brought a piece of metal with him, he wouldn't even be in the situation he found himself in. The character of course cannot even think of this. Brian Singer, you dodgy bloke. You have so much behind you, great such as The Usual Suspects and X2. Now you have X-Men Apocalypse, good job buddy, your reputation as a film director has reached new lows. Yours sincerely, a disappointed fan.